Morning class. So the example that I'm going to walk you through right now is the jog control utilizing a uh, control relay and momentary push button um, contacts. So the momentary push buttons uh, as opposed to the jog control with a selector switch, it allows us the ability to have more than one station to control the motor. Okay, now each of the stations will have a, a jog button, a run button, and a stop button. I'm going to utilize maybe this guy here. Um, so a forward push button, a reverse button, and a stop button. And uh, what I'm going to do is on camera here, I'll quickly meter it up and make sure we understand what's what. Okay, and uh, then we will also meter the contacts of the control relay. I've already metered my... Um, um, starter so we know what what uh, each of those terminals are for that so I've got my meter set at continuity uh, now I need to find my stop push button which happens to be the red there okay I'm gonna go to these next set of black ones now these are normally closed they're labeled that way so that's my reverse but I need my normally open reverse so that'll be that those two then we've got some normally closed probably for the forward and normally open for the forward. So I'm going to require these two, these two, and those two there. Okay. And then the last thing, um, my control relay, I've got a white and a black indicating my coil that's mounted up there. I need my normally open contact, so I'm just going to start over here. I don't get any continuity between those two. But if I push to test the uh, control relay simulating it pulling in, you can hear I get that beep. So that's one set of normally open contacts. And then this one here should also do the same thing, which is correct. And then we're going to go over to the blue ones just to check things out. That's a normally closed and then this should be the other normally closed as well. So we need the two normally opens for this lab. Okay. Uh, so now we can, I've got the diagram here, I'll zoom in a little bit on it, so you can sort of follow me uh, wire this thing up, that should get pretty much everything on camera for you, for the most part. There we go. Um, so we're going to start here, we need a line one heading to our stop push button. So we're going to go here and we're going to go into our stop push button, so that's that first wire there. We're going to come out of that stop push button and we're going to go to a normally open uh, run. So I'm going to use my, my black wire for that, for my black uh, set of normally open contacts. Okay, so that's this jumper here. Then we also need to do a normally, or go to the other normally open, um, one side of the normally open for the jog push button, which happened to be, I need to remember, double check on these again. I think it was the first set. Pardon me. That's why it helps to write these things down sometimes. Second set, so that's good. I'm glad I double checked that. Okay, so that's the other side of that. So now I've got this wire in, that wire in, and now we need to go to one side of the normally open control relay contact. So this one down here, out of that same spot. So we're gonna go to a normally open control relay contact. So that's that there. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm going to follow through and I'm going to come out of that control relay contact and jump over to our, this would be the number two. Okay, so let's finish him up. We're going to go over to the number two, which is there. So that brings that in. Okay, now I'll start working on the other half of this. Okay, so we'll come out the three and we're going to head to one side of the jog push button. Okay, and this was the jog. All right, and then we also need, out of that three, we need to go to another side of the normally open control relay contacts. So we can either grab that here or here. I'll just come back to this. So go to the other side of the normally open control relay contacts. So that's this wire here. Remember our jumper for our jog control, that, that wire there going to the coil is already done for us. Okay. 
Now we need to head up. We're going to go out of the other side of the normally open control relay contact that I just wired. And I'm going to go to the other side of the run push button, which is here. That's this one here. So that's that jumper there. I know this gets a little bit confusing on screen. Okay. Now, out of that run push button, that same side, which was here, we need to feed our coil. That's the line one. And then we're going to come out of that coil to our neutral. And then the last thing we need to do is connect up our overload relay neutral down to that neutral. So now I can test the circuit. I'm going to turn power on. We don't have anything happening. I'm going to hit this push button. This should be the run. Oh no, that's the jog. Sorry, my bad. This will be the run. So now the control relay pulls in as well as the starter pulls in. Hit the stop. Everything stops. This is my jog. Okay, so we can connect up. I'll just power that down. We'll connect the motor up because I know everybody likes to see the motor spin. There's our line one, our line two, and our line three. And then we've got our T1, T2, T3 that come out of that starter and head up to the motor. Okay, I'll turn my power circuit on, turn my control circuit back on, hit my run, motor's running, go up there so we can see it, motor stops, oh sorry you're kind of missing it there, okay, uh, and then the jog. Okay, and that's it. Power down. I'll disconnect and clean up my workspace. And uh, that was e the run job control using a control relay. Probably one of the harder circuits uh, we do in the lab space. Next video we'll do the uh, forward reversing combination starter. All right, see you in the learning hub.